Hi, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and I'd like to talk a little bit about playpens and what works and what doesn't work. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've seen I've done other videos on playpens, and I'll show you here, this is my larger playpen, and so this playpen has several things going on in it. It's got a row of potty pads in the back, so I use washable potty pads that my dogs know to go on if they need to go potty and I'm not around. So it's the perfect place for a puppy who's still learning to be housebroken. You'll see there's also beds for them to sleep in, there's play toys, there's a water bowl and a food bowl, and that's always the case in this playpen. Now sometimes I will rotate different toys, I'll rotate different things in that playpen for them. You may remember that uh, there was another playpen here uh, a bit ago, and it was a playpen, or I have these pieces that snap in together. And what I wanna show you specifically in this, these are the Iris playpen panels. So I-R-I-S, Iris playpen panels, and you can find them in the show more section below but you can also find them on my website. My website is SVCC, that stands for Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly, svcctoys.com. And I have a favorite products, favorite things page on my website where I go over all my favorite things. But the reason this is so important is you'll find that these iris panels come in two so you can buy two at a time, and that way you can make your playpen as large as you'd like to. But I wanna show you a distinction about these playpens that you're going to really want to think out for yourself. This particular style of playpen requires that you snap and unsnap the gate closed. So hopefully, Devin, can you zoom right in so they can see this idea of snap and unsnapping? So it really takes some effort with your hands to snap and unsnap. Now, just recently in preparation for new puppies coming, I thought I was going to be having new puppies this weekend, but unfortunately that didn't happen. It'll be another couple of weeks before um, a mom has puppies. But I wanna show you this pin. So this enables me to open the gate with a slide in pin which is much easier for my hands. I have a wee bit of arthritis -y issues in my hands, which is part of the reason why it's so important to me to have some help around occasionally. Anne and Devin and other folks on my team understand that my hands don't always like opening things or whatever, it's not always easy for me. This gate with this pin is so much easier. So I decided to replace my snap-on gates. But oh my goodness, I have lots of these snap-on gates. And so we will continue to use these snap-on gates when we go to do demonstrations. For example, we'll take our dogs out with our little agility run and have our dogs be a demo for a classroom, a library, sometimes a corporate environment, a college. We'll have us come and visit and we will uh, show what the puppies, dogs know how to do. But since I have so much of this snap-on gate, we'll continue to use that type when we go to those kinds of events. But otherwise, in my day-to-day -day home usage, I'm going to be using the Iris Playpen with this pole because it's so much easier for me. Both of these types of gates do come with an option to have a smaller gate that you can let your puppy in and out of. So you just twist like that, and that's really, really simple to use. But here's the key to that. So Devin's showing you both options. So the option of the door with the gate versus, uh, or with the pen versus the snap-on. But here's the key to that. In order to clean the playpen, in order to clean the potty pads and so forth, you have to actually be able to get into. And I can't crawl through that door. The puppies can. Um, I had ordered brand new fencing. I ordered, so these come in in pairs. 
And so I ordered four, and I wanted you to see what the size is. This size with the four two-part panels is perfect for a, a new puppy. So if you're getting a new eight-week-old puppy, this is a perfect size for an eight-week-old puppy. This will actually do you extremely well for quite a while until your puppy is housebroken in your home. And what you could do is you could take this type of playpen with these uh, panels and put it right next to the door you want your dog to go in and out of, and that becomes your cue. In other words, so if I had an eight-week-old puppy in here and I was teaching that eight-week-old puppy to be potty trained to go outside, I would open the gate and immediately take the puppy right outside. So. Hopefully this makes sense to you about playpen setups. Please comment below, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button if you're getting value and enjoying my videos. Thanks for watching.